Hi, I'm Bushra Alam from QA Milestone. So far in this series, we have been testing web applications. And it might surprise you, but Cypress can test APIs as well. And in this video, we'll see how to do that. We'll be using dummy APIs from here. We have basic methods like get, post, put, delete. So, Cypress makes HTTP request using request command. Alright, so let's get started and create a spec file. So we'll pick the first API from the site and this is get. Okay, so now we start. So let's copy the URL. CY dot request is the command that we need to use so this command it takes the http method as the first argument so our method here is get and then it needs the url and that's it for now so we can run this and see what we get Save it. We'll run through the GUI test runner. Oh, we do not see spec.js files here. And that is because in our last video we were working with Cucumber. And in Cypress.json we added test files as dot feature files and hence only dot feature file is visible to us let's remove this now save it and there you go we have all the files now so this is the one that we created let's run it so it says it has passed Let's check the response. So if you press F12, the console would show. Let's pin this and now. The console would show the request and the response. Let's see what it has yielded. So we have status, duration, body and header. Let's now put some assertions. So we need to verify that the status is 200 so our assertion is expect response to have property status with the value 200 save this and it ran the assertion has passed the actual was 200 status and the expected was 200 great let's now see what else we can assert here so let's uh, verify the body let's say um, we need to assert that the body has some content it isn't blank Okay. Save it. And indeed, the body isn't blank. It has some content. Great. So let's see what this body contain. It has got status and data. Data is an array of 24 elements. 
Let's have an assertion for that. And all is good. Great. Now, for cy.request, get is set as the default method. And so, if we remove it from here, this would still work because get is the default method. Let's save it and try. Yes, indeed. Okay. So let's now work with post method. So here we are creating a record. Let's copy the URL. Now here it is necessary to specify the method as post because if you skip, it would take the default method as get. Then we pass the URL and next we need to pass the body. So if we go here, click on details, this is the sample JSON. Let's copy it and instead of directly passing it here, let's store it in a variable and pass, then pass it. This provides more clarity. Okay, before we run it, you can notice that the URLs up till here are exactly the same. So instead of retyping them every time, let's pull them out and we can store them in base URL. But if we update the base URL in cypress.json, then all the other scripts would fail. So instead, we'll override the base URL only for this file. This can be done using cypress.config and now we can remove it from here as well. Better. Let's save it and it's going to run. So our post has passed. Let's see. So this is the request. This is the response. Status is 200. Duration is something. Then we have got the body. And that's the data. So now let's say we need to verify that the item we added is now present in data. So let's do that. item. Let's try it out. Oops, it failed. Let's see what's wrong here. Oh, so the actual was name, salary, age and ID and we expected just the name, salary and age and that's the reason. Okay, so instead Let's just, we can just check that the name is test. Okay. And yeah, all good. So let's now try put. Here we are trying to update something. Let's copy this. Now we need to pass an ID here. Here. So let's just take an ID from one of the records from here. So let's take the first one. So ID is one. 
1. So we are trying to update the first record. And if we see the details, it has got the sample JSON. So basically, we just need to pass what we need to update. We'll remove this. So let's just say we are trying to update the name. So you pass the body here and we do not need the URL till here. Okay, this looks good. Let's run it. And no, something is wrong. So it says status 401 unauthorized. That means we are not authorized to update this particular record. And I think that's a very necessary check. So we'll have an assertion to check that we're not able to update any record that we are not authorized to. Okay. So when we try to do this, the status should should be equal to 401 that is unauthorized oh we are still seeing this error and i think we can silence it through this so we need to pass this as an option let's do that Let's save and perfect. So we expected the status of 401 and we got it. Excellent. So now we have an assertion in place which checks that no unauthorized updates are performed. So I hope you followed along and I'm sure you can delete on your own. Do try it out yourself. Good luck.